everybody, welcome to Hat Hole Home Video, and guess what? It's thrifting day, that's right. I looked back, it has been months, months and months since I've done a thrifting vlog. Um, I have the day off, and I decided, you know what? Hell or high water, boom or bust, boring or bodacious, uh, I want to see what's out there. I want to do a thrifting vlog. I miss it. I know you guys like it. I like it too. Of course, a couple days ago when I decided to that I was going to do this today, uh, it was beautiful. It was 60. It was sunny. It was not... All of the snow had melted off. And then a cold front blew in and gave us that... Uh, that mid-March snowstorm that, that we generally will get in Minnesota because the Midwest, man, it can just, it, it can never let you be happy for too long. It gives, you, it gives you a little hint and then it goes, oh, by the way, winter's back, baby. Uh, so yeah, winter's back and it's sloppy and it's messy. Uh, but I gotta admit, you know, there, you'll be driving through, I, I took the scenic route, by the way. Um, I could have hopped down the freeway and been somewhere in, in 10 minutes, but where's the fun in that? I uh, took the scenic route, and you'll turn after a snow like this, after like that sticky, fluffy snow that's clinging to all the trees, you feel like, uh, you feel like you're in a Bob Ross painting or something. Like, it's, it's pretty. Uh, I, me personally, I know a lot of people don't like the cold, they don't like the snow, they don't like the hassle, they don't like, you know, in the winter it's 40 below, in the summer it's 120, and then there's blizzards, and there's freezing rain, and then there's tornadoes, and then there's, you know, I get it, I get it, <laughs> I mean, it's rough, everywhere's got something, but, uh, it's in my blood, man, it's in my blood. And when Minnesota is is being Minnesota, I just, I love it. I just love it. You know, for all the hassle, I love it. So, speaking of, for all the hassle, I love it. Let's do some thrifting! <laughs> this guy, I didn't really hit the gas. I am speeding a little bit, though. I am speeding a little bit. This is uh, one of the downsides to uh, not just hopping on the freeway. Minnesota back roads. Sometimes there's just a bunch of turkeys taking their sweet time getting from one side to the other. Why did the turkey cross the road? Because uh, the chicken was... Uh, whatever. I'm going to be here for a minute. <laughs> Okay, enough snow montage. It's time for our first up of the day. Do you like my early 2000s vans? Oh yes. But where are we to begin our thrifting adventure? That's right, it is Half Price Books. It's one I don't get to a whole lot, so I'm very excited to see what's inside. Well, good news is they have plenty of VHS tapes. Uh, this one's usually pretty good. The, the clearance section is usually pretty pretty full. Maybe not necessarily anything super exciting. Goofy movie. Always a favorite. Uh, see that plenty, let's be honest. But uh, the car, which I would love to pick up if, if it weren't $8. And again, $8 might be an okay price 
on eBay or something. But when I am ooh, last unicorn, I'm one of my all-time faves. I have quite a few copies on VHS. Um, beautiful Frankenstein cover. Yeah, when I'm at half-price books, I I really don't want to be spending more than a buck or two. You know, ideally it'd be less. Ideally it'd be fifty cents. Love that Bride of Frankenstein cover. Um, I have that copy actually. I have a couple copies of that, but. Uh, I would just like to go back to the days where the VHS tapes were a quarter or 50 cents kind of tops at half price books. They're getting a little, they're starting to edge edge up uh, and try to get a little bit more of a collector's price for them here and there. Uh, still not too bad, Boa <laughs> starring Dean Cain. That's been there and Red Siren. These have both been here since before the pandemic. They have both been back in this section. I've passed them up over and over and over again. They just will not leave. I should buy them just to just to freshen things up. And we got some cool little PC games here. Bioforge. Nice to see things, you know, with the instruction manual. Wing Commander Prophecy. Uh, and whatever Jane's Combat Simulation is. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Um, unfortunately for kind of my gaming stuff it is slim pickens this is the one and only nes game in the whole place anticipation you get that reference right you know what i'm talking about uh yeah it's it, it's uh for our kind of retro stuff it is pretty bare look at one solitary original game boy game i guess and pokemon but uh, just a cl one classic Game Boy cartridge. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of slim pickings, I gotta admit. Looking through the cassettes for the occasional uh, soundtrack. I always like to see if there's any fun soundtracks. And I could be wrong. I think maybe this was here last time I was here. I feel like maybe I've shown it in a previous video. But yeah, for 10 bucks, I don't expect it to be flying off the shelf. And just like that, we are on the road to our next destination, unfortunately. Uh, half price books, not a whole lot of exciting things to see. Uh, but he, you got a heck of a view here, uh, because the cruel hand of fate decided that it wasn't enough to be stuck behind a line of turkeys uh, on the way to half price books. So now, leaving half price books, I have become caught behind the longest train in the entire world. I don't know, it might, the front and the back, the engine and the caboose, for those of you in the business, uh, they might actually be touching each other, and it might go the entire circumference of the world at this point. I've been waiting a while. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we, the end is in sight, and we're on to our next destination. But thanks to the miracle of editing, we have arrived at Goodwill, that's right. Uh, again, one that I don't hit up very often. I'm excited to see what there is to find. And right off the bat, I hit up the old uh, electronics shelves and I find uh, a, a nice little bit of history. It is the Quick Shot, the Atari Quick Shot. I guess I don't know. It's SVI is the brand, but it's it is for uh, you know an old Atari system whether that be uh, the Atari 2600, the Atari 400, the Atari 800. Um, it's a beautiful little joystick. Unfortunately, there the sticker fell off, and Goodwill has a policy that they won't sticker things for you right, you know, if you bring it up without a tag. I suppose it's to uh, deter fraud or people peeling stickers off. It's a bummer. But I did find this Qbert board game, which is incredibly cool. I have a a love for Qbert. I, I played the game a ton back on the Atari 400. Speaking of Atari, um, looking through the movies, I found an HD DVD. You don't see those very often. I have this one, actually, in my collection. I don't have the player anymore, but I still have the Planet Earth DVD. And look at the piddly selection of VHS tapes. We got a Mary-Kate and Ashley uh, in SeaWorld and we've got a Buns of Steel 2000. Of course, I already ha have so many copies of this, I, I probably shouldn't pick it up. 
Um, kind of a bummer until, that is, I realize that I'm a dum-dum. And on the other side of the DVDs, you have VHS tapes. And we have lots of VHS tapes. Nothing wildly exciting, but uh, but plenty of solid entries. If, if someone was starting uh, a VHS collection, there's interesting things to be found here. And of course, Goodwill is nice and cheap. These are, I forget, it's like 10 for a dollar or something like that. And that is my kind of price. Hey everybody, just a real quick note from editor Brian. I'm editing this video together as we speak. Um, I'm realizing now as I'm, as I'm putting the episode together, the first couple places that I stopped at were uh, pretty lackluster. There were things to look at, there were interesting things, but there wasn't a lot to see. So I just wanted to let you know the the thrifting day kind of it came in like a lamb and it does go out a little bit more like a lion than it appears at this point in the episode so i just wanted to let you know the last couple places that i stopped there was a lot more to see it wasn't just one two things at each place so just so you know normally i normally i rearrange the editing to make it a little bit more interesting Today I decided I, I'm just gonna go through it chronologically. This was literally my thrifting day. So the first couple places weren't super exciting. So the day does pick up though. I just wanted to let you know. So I, I know you weren't going anywhere, right? You weren't thinking about not watching the video, right? <laughs> that, I mean, you, you wouldn't do that to O'Brien, would you? <laughs> I, I just wanna let you know. It, it, it gets a little more exciting as it goes. That's all. All right, bye-bye. Back to the video. Okay, uh, that came off a little desperate, but yes, we are at our next thrifting location. It, it is another Half Price Books, one of my faves. I actually applied to work here a couple years back. Um, they couldn't meet my hefty price though, so I had to I had to decline the offer. These are awesome. These are little record story books. So there's a little record. A little 45 record included with this book and then you read the book you know it's a kids kids thing as you can see by the the other titles um, you read along with the record really cool bunch of gremlins ones and then you know kind of a bunch of little kids ones but the the, the gremlin gremlins ones were incredibly cool to see dang dude we just found a whole heaping helping of VHS tapes and a lot of a lot of very interesting things here. You've got the Langoliers, the, uh, un uh, I was gonna say underrated, but I take that back. I think it is exactly uh, correctly rated by society, which is not great. Uh, Wildcats, cool cartoon uh, from the 90s, if you remember, based on the comic book. Probably trying to, I'm sure the cartoon was trying to kind of recapture the success of uh, the X-Men animated series. Street Fighter 2. I couldn't tell if this was this the movie or was that like episodes of a, of an anime. I don't know. I remember the movie from when I was uh, back in the day. And a beautiful, pristine copy of Barbarella. If it wasn't 10 bucks, I would have been all over this. I do have it on um, Laserdisc, and I think I do have at least a copy on VHS. Maybe someday I will actually remember to catalog. We've got Dragon Slayer. I'm, I'm noticing a lot of... This place had a ton of anime and a lot of Doctor Who. This was like 50% Doctor Who and 20% uh, uh, anime. This is the lone, the, the sad lone Super Nintendo cartridge. At least it's a good one. That's one of my favorite hockey games. And look at this. The films of Boris Karloff. Generally, I, I wouldn't care about... Uh, I mean, I, I hate to say this. Normally, I don't care that much about the books at Half Price Books. But this is obviously uh, a book from, from back in the day. Either probably the late 70s, early 80s maybe. But I love, I love finding stuff like this too. And now, this is interesting. This is from TSR, the company that made Dungeons & Dragons. Um, and this is a Marvel role-playing game manual from back in the day. Very cool. And I love that She-Hulk is wearing her Fantastic Four gear. 
Those were my favorite years of both She-Hulk and Fantastic Four was when, when She-Hulk was in the Fantastic Four. Um, and then, of course, here in the case, we have a Sega Game Gear. The screen is very scratched up. I'm kind of surprised they were looking for 40 bucks. Seems a little steep, in my opinion. But, oh, it doesn't even work. I didn't even read the sign. Um, but this, now, there is no price too high for something like this. A Jonathan Frakes Commander Riker Hallmark Christmas tree ornament. Of course, you got Qui Gon Jinn right next to you. The star of Taken hanging on your Christmas tree, um, and of course Captain Janeway up top, as she as she should be because of these three characters. Who's a captain? Captain Janeway. That's right. All right, we are at another Goodwill down the street from the last HPB. Although you can't really tell in that supernova that's exploding behind me. There you go. Uh, let's go see what we can find. This is always the kind of old tech that I am endlessly fascinated by. You know, if you've watched these videos, I occasionally find these 8mm film editors. Um, they must have been very prevalent, uh, you know, back in the, w the days when people's home movies were on Super 8. Um, because I do find them a lot. I have a few of them. I just think they're incredibly cool. Uh, I do have a video where I actually run one i'll have to look that up and maybe put it in the put it in the uh the description of this video to to look i'll have to hunt it down and look back but i did actually fire one up and play some old uh super 8 film on one in a in a previous thrifting video and unfortunately this uh in otherwise glorious old vhs camcorder is uh quite non-functional uh, does not close. It's it's very beat up. And then uh, I noticed this the Dazzle Digital Video Creator, which I'm actually use uh, newer Dazzle technology uh, in some of my video capturing for some of my videos. So it was neat to see. Uh, this I have no idea what it is. It, uh, I, I would love some kind of explanation because I've never seen. A dial that could turn to download. I just think that's incredibly weird to see. A dial that you turn when you want to download something, you gotta crank a knob to download. Weird, right? And here comes an absolute beauty. And no, I'm not talking about Sandra Bullock in The Blind Side. I'm talking about this old, what must be a very, very old, early Polaroid Land camera. And I don't know if that's Polaroid Land camera or Polaroid land camera. But either way, it's something to see. I gotta say, no, I was not uh, <laughs> sniffing my armpits. Um, the Goodwill hand sanitizer smells amazing. I, and I can't even tell you what it smells like. It just smells really good. Um, it's that like clean, like a fresh meadow or something. Uh, I, I'm gonna hit up a couple more places. I think I'm gonna go to my to my rocks. My uh, as I'm headed closer to home, I'm gonna go hit up uh, my my main half price books and my main savers, and I think we'll probably call it a day there. And we're gonna get to our last couple stops. All right. It'll be an edit for you. For me, it's gonna be like 15 minutes. All right. We have arrived. My shoes are, uh, you know, literally falling apart in front of your very eyes. We have arrived at Savers, one of my absolute favorite thrifting stores. You just, you never know what you're going to walk away with. And the VHS selection is, uh, it's loaded for bear today. I got to say, normally you never know. Are you going to round this corner and find empty shelves or is it going to be packed? Um, got Akira. 
Uh, they, I, I do think a lot of people shop the VHS at this particular location, so I think I do miss out on a lot, but it also means the inventory rotates a lot. All, the, all these things, got David Lynch's Wild at Heart, all these things were things I didn't see last time I was here, and I was here two days ago, something like that. Look at this. I have been expanding my Julie Strain collection since her passing. Um, I'm going to have to get that. What what kismet that is. 187. Great Samuel L. Jackson movie. I loved that movie when it came out. We got Halloween 5. Uh, another one, maybe not the greatest Halloween, but uh, it's one I remember watching on cable a lot as a kid. A lot of fond memories. All kinds of good stuff. Once again, a lot of interesting things, old beat up Lost Boys. A lot, of, a lot of good stuff to start a collection. I feel like I have to have talked about these before. I, I know they come and go. I see them around at thrifting shops, but is there anything that says growing up poor in the 80s more than these glasses? I don't know if everybody had them. I, I have such vivid memories of the McDonald's glasses. And speaking of vivid memories God, I wish this wasn't just in such bad shape this is this is the record player the turntable I had growing up or my, my parents had growing up and that I listened to uh, I, amazing well there you go for the first time all day I actually bought something all right we are at our third and final half price books of the day um, and it's our last stop of the day uh, I'm not gonna I'm, so here's the scoop the sign for this one is in a weird awkward spot and it's generally super busy and I don't I already didn't like filming in a way where like people would get in the shots and would see me filming I like to film kind of on on the DL um, and especially nowadays with uh, people filming everybody and canceling people and calling people out people's reaction to seeing someone filming is very different nowadays um, so rather than deal with all the people around the corner um, I just figured I'd tell you right now we're going into half price books and uh, I will see you in there okay I got out of the car and the pond right next to the half price books there were these adorable ducks and the, the lady duck was was putting her butt in the air and it was super cute so I just I had to film it and then I had to put it in the video now look at this we got an Intellivision 2 for $150 uh, I mean that maybe that's a fair price I haven't really looked lately but look at all these boxed games and they are in really good shape most of them were like new uh, and of course Tron anytime I see Tron I freaking go nuts so that was super cool to see but yeah just a lot of like amazing stuff it must have been sitting in i don't know must have been sitting in someone's entertainment center for 40 years just perfectly preserved uh same with this i've seen this game before it's basically pong hooks up to your tv but i've never seen a box before so seeing it in the box was was very neat to see and of course a boxed nes with mario 3 uh, that would be that would be pretty cool to have on the shelf and looky here isn't it weird we were just talking about Mario paint on one of the last live streams and here it shows up in the case uh, it's weird how that works and bubble bobble a boxed copy of bubble bobble that would be awesome to have I'm not paying no hundred dollars for it sorry but that would be an incredibly cool thing to get um, and then and then the usual stuff crusty super fun house super cool uh aerosmith revolution which is tempting and look at these old pc magazines february 1988 what do you think was going on with pcs in 88 like they weren't talking about doom they weren't talking you know what i mean it's like it's weird to think back on something where a consumer market for something was was so new at that time 
And really, what would they have been selling to people? I mean, they would have been selling to industry people, to businesses, to professionals. There wouldn't have been a whole lot for gaming, I wouldn't think, in, in 88. Oh, yes, and of course we find... Uh, I gotta say, all of the half price books that we've been to today have been relatively... Uh, like, the VHS shelves have been full. Maybe it's not the most exciting stuff. Um, but I've looked at a lot more VHS tapes today than uh, on a lot of other, you know, uh, thrifting runs that I've done over the last few months. So it's, it's very cool to see. Got some Ninja Turtles action. So yeah, I mean, I hope this is a sign that things are... Uh, bouncing back a little bit because like I said at the I think did I say it at the beginning uh, Things have been a little quiet on the thrifting front. That's one of the reasons I haven't been doing much for thrifting videos is It's been hard to put something together anime again What is up? There's just so much anime going around uh, In these VHS sections Weird. But yeah, it's 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 great to see it coming back. There's my finger. Did you see my finger in the frame? Um, and this, I was just blown away by this magpie. Her hair is shaped like a bird. It took me a while to figure that out. I just thought she was like a cool punk. And then this might be uh, an absolute find. This Secret of the Ooze comic book. Love it. Oh, and it's clobbering time. Well, that is going to be it for today, everybody. Um, if you're wondering of all that fun, wacky stuff that I just showed you at Half Price Books, what did I walk out with? Uh, turtles! Turtle power! Um, they're the world's most fearsome fighting team. I don't know if you know that. Uh, but for a quarter, I was not going to pass up a Secret of the Ooze comic. That is awesome. So yeah, so ultimately we, we walked away with very little, but we saw a lot of interesting stuff. The day ended a lot stronger than it started. I was getting kind of worried at the beginning because it was pretty lackluster. But uh, but yeah, it uh, it ended up being uh, being a, a pretty interesting day, a, a, a more interesting day than than I've had in a long time. So that's great. Um, maybe things are starting to starting to fill back in, starting to get a little interesting again. Uh, we shall see. Uh, yeah. But thank you everybody so much for watching as always. Um, the patrons, the subscribers, the commenters, the lurkers. I, you're all amazing. Um, I appreciate you all very, very much. Uh, so yeah. So until next time, uh, whether you are a dirty dog sleeping in the sun or an alley rat eating up the night, you know that you always have a place at Hat Hole Home Video. That's right. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. I can't come back. I don't know how it works. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Is this guy going to stop? Okay, he is. He stopped. Don't worry. I, he had a stop sign, I didn't, so it's all good. We're all good, we all did our part. We all did our part. All right, goodbye everybody.